Hey, hello and welcome back to Zoink TV. This is the fourth and final part of the character creation tutorial series. Um, check out the previous character creation tutorial series if you haven't seen that, as well as the other videos leading up to this one because you're not going to be able to get anywhere if you haven't seen them. And uh, this is roughly where we left off. Uh, this isn't what you should be seeing, this is actually where I left off, it's with my creation. So, um, looking at that, we're going to be making the collar today and right now, um, and the extruding this bottom part here. So what you should be seeing is something a little bit more like uh, that. So we're almost there. A um, little bit of stuff needs straightening out, which I'll get around to. Uh, so let's just get going. Select your object, and let's take it into a mode. Okay, so it's still mirrored, and let's just add an extra ring loop here for the purposes of there's not enough ring loops in there uh, for the next bit. And let's grab all the way down here as well. Just take some time box select. Of course, I messed up that. There we go. And grab it on the y axis. Then just select them with middle mouse over box select and G on the y axis there as well. So that makes the back of his shirt just a little bit more rounded and uh, the best thing to do now would be grab that one on the x-axis and grab it on the y-axis just a tad and because it's going through his shoulders there I'm going to grab it upwards and then grab them all on the y-axis uh, like that If that causes any problems, just move the area so that it's sorted. And that's a lot of line. Let's just get that into line. And I think that's looking okay for me. I'm okay with that. And um, I'll grab that one on the x axis, pulling it out like that. And I will pull all of them just towards its neck. Okay, so that's looking okay to me, that's set up that part. Uh, next, the part to set up, if you want the exact same shape as I had, would be setting it up like this, a little ring loop in there. And um, then, as we want this face here, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, to all be even as they go down to the belt area here, um, we're going to have to start moving the vertexes inwards here, so let's go for this one on the x-axis and then this, these two on the x-axis and uh, take a look at that and I think it's a little too far back on the y so really just thinking about it, um, as I go through this I might just be explaining some pretty obvious stuff but once you've seen the technique and you've seen like, oh that's how you would sort that, that, that kind of situation, then uh, that's really how I, I learned and you just keep getting better at pushing and pulling the shape around. And um, before I extrude anything I'm going to start with the collar. So what we want with collar, if I take it back to my original, and I hide the other one, the collar, it comes down here, there's a little bit extruded there, and then uh, quite far down it joins into that part, which goes round. So that's the kind of effect we want. Uh, quite pointy there, uh, it might end up being less pointed for this new one, but um, it doesn't matter that much, so let's get that away. And let's press and take it into edit mode again. So we roughly want to select that one down there, just like it wasn't either one it's quite far down. And let's go for all of them, all the way around. So that's roughly what you want to be selecting. And then make sure you've got clipping uh, selected still, which I have. And I'm just going to extrude it a little bit on the z-axis first. Just a little bit, like a really tiny amount, just to give it a bit more like of a so it's, it just looks ends up looking a little bit better. 
and then extrude again and uh, take it a little bit more on the x-axis and then extrude again still going up although I think I've reached, reached the top of how high I want to go there so I'm going to just bring it out on the x and one final one that brings it kind of more down now that can, all, that can be straightened out again if you want it to I think that's looking okay for me and um, it'll slowly get more straightened out. The only problem would be the back. So let's select these four here and we kind of want to bring it more out on the y-axis. So let's grab them as well. UI. And you can already see that's kind of looking better but it's not exactly what you want. So these four again, I'm going to grab them on the z-axis now. And then these two on the z-axis and then maybe just that one on the y-axis inwards maybe we'll give it a bit of a curve like that and I think that, that can be more curved at the back so I'm going to grab them all and grab that on the y-axis like that it's a lot more curved and uh, I think it's looking a little better. So that looks okay to me. Um, it's not ideally what you want for a character, but um, we've got to straighten out a little bit more. We've got to do some merging to get into the right shape. So let's go ahead. Uh, you've got, we've got this here. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm kind of going to want to. Yeah, I think I'll I'll merge that one. So Alt M at last, since I selected that one last. I'll merge these two as well. And, uh, ooh, that's kind of... Mm -hmm. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to... Oops. Hmm. All right, I'll merge these two instead. Just thinking about it, you know, as I say, it takes a lot of thinking to get it into that good position that you want. So I'll merge these. And I'll merge these. And um, let's keep on going with the merging. At first, this time, since I selected the other one first. And you can see that's coming into the right position. Uh, it's slowly getting there. And let's just see that there's no problems caused. It may look like it from this angle, because it's kind of showing me the rest of the line through there. But that's just because it's close together. And uh, you can look at the other side and you can see that it looks fine. So. It's looking okay to me. We just gotta keep shaping it. I think what I'll do is I'll merge those two. And um, I will delete this face here. So let's go X faces. And the point for that is if I just quickly bring up my other one again as I keep using it as an example and I hide my original is I've got this coming out here and if I ha if I didn't delete that other face then it's never going to come out because you can't stretch them into that position it's kind of a bit awkward so by doing this that you can see in edit mode do by doing that I've already kind of already created my spiky shape so all I need to do is merge this one here as soon as it works uh, at last, yep I just need to merge those two and any more that you want to merge you can do that whatever but I think I can straighten them into the right position and then I just drag this one on the x-axis and there you've already got my shape so let's go drag that one closer to the um, closer down to his shoulder, just because I think it's a little too far away at the moment. And um, maybe this final one here further down, more inwards. And that's created a nice shape there. We can see it nicely on this mirrored side rather than the other side. And uh, that's looking okay to me. Remember that it's going to be subdivided and that will make it look even better. And uh, let's go 
that way. And drag that on the Y. Still want it to be curved, so we're going to have to pull that one out of the way. And pull that one over there. And if you didn't add that original line down there that I asked you to do before, then uh, you wouldn't have this little part here, so that's why that came, came in important. I might have to pull that one, straighten that one out. You can see on that non mirrored side that it's looking pretty good. So I'm kind of satisfied with that. I think that's looking okay. And now what I'm going to want to do is go on face mode, as it's easier to extrude. Select the faces that you want to extrude with face select mode. Okay, now that we've got them all selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press E for extrude, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. So let's press that. And I'm not going to move it really that much, and, and then I'm going to just scale it up a little bit, just a tad. So I moved it a little bit upwards on the z-axis, but that would pull it out of line if you did it all the way. So then I just scaled it a little bit, and that was it. So now that's looking okay. Maybe bigger than my original, but uh, that can be sorted if you didn't like it like that. And let's just see what the result would be if I had a subdivide. So as I say, it's not quite as pointed as my original, but that can always just be pulled out even more and sorted out, and if you had less faces then that would be less rounded. And um, maybe it's further up than my original. Uh, so just, again, I'm creating it again, so as you create it again it's not going to be exactly the same. And I even solved the problem that I had on my other one that came around down there. But um, it's looking it's looking pretty close to my original, and you can see how you could push and pull that out into the right position, and keep it in this mode, and then just be like, you can still pull it out, so let's see, pull that out like that, and let's see, grab them in woods. And that kind of solves that. So um, that's how that would be done, and so on. Uh, I think that's looking okay for me. Uh, I think I didn't just mess it up a little bit there, but you get the idea, so I'm not going to correct it. And what I'm going to do is the very easy part, which I'm sure you all know how to do, of if I undo that, of pressing. Uh, multi select loops which selects all the way around there and what we'll do is I'll actually um, keep clipping on I'll extrude it um, on the z-axis and then extrude on the z-axis and then keep going until I get as far down as I want and then I'll keep using the multi select loops. So let's go for. Uh, oh, we already had it typed in there, so obviously that's just. And then grab it on the x axis. You could scale, but that wouldn't help very much as you, um, you'd be scaling on all the axes. And uh, you'd be pulling it out from the center, so it's not, um, it's not ideal. Okay, and then once we've got that kind of shape that we want, I could have made it a little bit further away if I wanted to be, but uh, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to delete these vertices down here. Just check that I haven't selected one at the back, which I have. And um, vertices. So that's made it into pretty much, I'll compare them now if I grab that on the x axis. Can hide him. Let's bring it up. So that's pretty much. If I take away the subdivide on that, oops, that would be the mirror subdivide gone. I I've saved way more polygons on that one than I have on that one. So since I made this this one quite a while ago, I've improved quite a lot and I've showed you a better technique. So um, that's uh, 
that's a plus. And we can see that that's how it was done. I didn't quite make it as rounded as it there, and you can see that I did actually do a little bit on the y-axis, but not very much. Just to make it a little bit more realistic, and then I actually show a tutorial where I add the closing effect to that with the rigging. So if you want to rig this that we've followed here, and you want to have it flap around his legs while you, um, I don't know, he stands on top of a city and he's in the wind, so it's all like in the moonlight and holding a sword or whatever. You know, that's the kind of character people go for. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I think that's quite a good result if you followed it fairly well. And um, this technique can be used for pretty much any clothing. I think I'll make some armor next in the next tutorial uh, because people are always interested in armor, long coats, guns. Um, so, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. I'll see you in the next tutorial.